Hey everyone, Jay Todd coming to you on a warm Vegas night from in front of Bally's. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello, my friends, and thanks for joining me on another edition of This Week in Gambling. I'm Todd, Jay Todd, and this show has been shaken, not stirred. We have stories to cover from Iowa and Nevada, but first, this week's big story. Us, This Week in Gambling, yeah. Jeez, must be a slow news week. We're going to be filming in Sin City this holiday weekend, so if you're in town, come on down and crash our party. Thursday afternoon, we will be filming down by the Las Vegas sign on the south end of the Strip between Mandalay Bay and the MGM Grand. While Thursday night, you can find us all up and down Fremont Street. Friday evening, come and join us right smack in the middle of the action around Bally's, Bellagio, and Caesar's Palace. And Saturday, well, Saturday, I'm drinking heavily and sitting at the poker table, so don't bother me if you see me, unless you want to get in the game. You can find a detailed schedule of where we'll be on what day and at what time when you visit our website. Just follow the link below this video in the descriptive area. Now, turning our attention to sports betting regulation, we've told you about the new legislation getting passed in Iowa and Tennessee and Montana. Yes, Iowa has become the 11th state to regulate betting on sports, if you don't count Tennessee, because technically the governor hasn't signed it yet, but it's coming, it's going to happen. Residents in Iowa, however, can now bet on sporting events at any of the state's land-based casinos. And they can even go online and play fantasy sports at FanDuel and DraftKings. One additional side note is that Oregon here will also soon be regulating sports wagers. Oregon is an interesting case because they are one of four states, like Nevada, that could have been regulating sports betting this whole time. They just haven't for some strange reason. Sports betting bills are also pushing their way ever so slowly through Arkansas and New York. Plus, there's legislation in Colorado which could go to the voters this November to regulate the activity. So stay tuned. After the break, we're going to be talking about another major television network that's partnered with the gambling company. This week's special promotion is for the Campo Bet Casino. You can find exclusive offers at Casino City for CampoBet and hundreds of other sites. Simply visit online.casinocity.com for details by following the link in this video's descriptive area. Yeah, where, where are you from? I'm from Mount Vernon, Washington, originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh my God, I'm from Bellingham, Washington. Bellingham, Washington, represent. Shout out to Bellingham. The North Northwest. The North North, the North is, the North North West is part of the country. Right. You can't get any further and not be Canadian. <laughs> we don't want that, eh? This week's game review is for the Temple of Nudges online slot from our friends at Net Entertainment. It's a five reel, three row game with 243 pay lines, respins, and nudges, naturally. You can watch our full review and hundreds of others when you visit our YouTube channel. Finally this week, hot on the heels of Fox Sports' deal with the Stars Group, ESPN has struck a deal of their own. Not to be outdone, the sports network has reached an agreement with Caesars Entertainment. As part of the deal, ESPN will broadcast their daily wager sports betting program right from the Lynx Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, which means, unfortunately, 
the show hosts will probably have to walk down the Vegas Strip to get to their studio. But on a positive note, they will get literature on how to get a hooker to their room in less than 30 minutes. Would you like to be my neighbor?